Hey there, this is Joseph from Synergy 17 and today I'm going to show you how to install the macro for uh, re uh, resizing um, your rhinestone fonts. So you should have received two files, an S17 icon and also the RS font resizer. So what you want to do is you want to copy them into your GMS folder, which is usually, for me, I have Corel X4, so it's under C, Program Files, Corel, Corel Draw, Graphics Suite, X4, Draw, GMS. Yours might be Graphics Suite X5 or X6, or, um, <coughs> excuse me, or it might be um, in your X86 folder if you have Windows 7 or 8 or in another folder. But you want to put it into this uh, Draw GMS folder. So copy those two files there, and after you've done that, launch Corel Draw. And once you're in Corel Draw, if you want to have a quick icon, what you do is you go to Tools, Customize, or Customization. And when that launches, you're going to um, go to Commands, and you'll find Macro. And then you can look for it in here. I have lots of different ones in here. But um, what you're going to do is you want to look for the one that says RS you might say main.rs, let's see, right there, resize stones, there it is, that's the one. So um, you can name it, I can call this 17 um, rhinestone font resizer. I can create a shortcut key if I would like, I can do like control alt 7, um, and under appearance I'm going to import an icon and I'm going to click on files and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to find under program files Corel suite um, draw GMS and here's my icon right here I'm going to open that and that's the one I want to use and now what you could do is I could take this icon and drag it right up to here to add it to another one or I can create my own. So I, I actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create my own. So I'm going to go to command bars and I'm going to say new and I'm going to call it Synergy 17 and here it is right here and then I'm going to go back to my commands and I'm going to grab this guy and I'm going to put him in here. Now this one I could take it and put it up here or wherever I'd like to put it. Okay. And so now that's going to be my quick launch bar. So whenever I want to type in something and use it, I can click this button and it will launch the macro. And that's all you need to do. If you have any questions, let us know.